Welcome to the Hardman, one of Galway's most historic hotels here in the heart of the city in Air Square since 1852. My name is Mandy Maher and I'm a stylist with Virgin Media's One Ireland AM and I'm also the event organiser of the Dream Wedding Exhibition, one of the largest bridal exhibitions here in the west of Ireland. And today I am delighted to be able to give you a sneak preview of this wonderful hotel and to have a chat with the team to find out more about this iconic wedding destination. I would like you to meet with Valerie Gately, the wedding coordinator here at the Hardiman. So Valerie, as wedding coordinator here in the beautifully newly refurbished Hardiman, what does your role entail as wedding coordinator? So Mandy, as my role of wedding coordinator here at the Hardiman, I would be taking care of our couples from the initial contact to the hotel to myself, right through the journey to the wedding day itself. So from start to the end, literally a couple is with you from the minute they meet with you to view your beautiful hotel right through to the wedding day itself. Exactly, from the very start right through to the very end, I'm with them every step of the way, me, myself personally. Yeah, and that's a very, very personal service as well, Valerie. So for any couple that wish to come and meet with you, how do they go about that? So Mandy, they can contact me here at the hotel to our email address, weddings at the or by phone on 091 564041. If the couple are unable to attend the hotel, we can do a Skype call, Zoom call, virtual WhatsApp tour, just as good as being in the hotel itself. I can show them all around as well. That's a fantastic facility. It's great to be able to offer that. It is. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. As we leave the coziness of this huge, historic fireplace, come join me with this most beautiful oyster bar. Here in the beautiful Oyster Bar, Paula Byrne, the Oyster Bar Supervisor. What does your job entail as the supervisor here in this beautiful venue? Right. I've been lucky to work here the last seven years. Um, you'll find me mainly on the main floor. So I would work between the Oyster Bar, the Parlour Lounge and the Gaslight Bar. So Paula, the Oyster Bar, where does it get its name from? The Oyster Bar, um, the hotel was one of the first people that were involved in the Oyster Festival here in Galway. And so at the time then, the bar then got its name from that. Of course, and of course, the Ice Festival, of course, such an iconic it is. here in Galway. Yeah. Well. yeah. And Paula, I believe you're also a mixologist. Now for the likes of me that hasn't a clue what a mixologist is, yeah. what is a mixologist? So my role as a mixologist here in the hotel would be, I get to create and design our cocktail menus and our signature cocktails here in the hotel. Um, I'm lucky because it is a passion of mine and I'm given the freedom here to be able to create new and exciting cocktails for our guests here in the hotel. So am I going to be in for a little bit treat later on? You may be, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> As Paula heads off to make me a little mocktail, I'm going to pop upstairs to the ballroom to meet with Stephen, the banqueting manager. Stephen Flanagan, the banqueting manager here at the Hardiman. What does your role entail as banqueting manager? Thanks, Mandy. On the day of a wedding, I would meet a wedding couple downstairs uh, at, at the doors of the hotel with Valerie. Then for dinner service, we'd bring the wedding couple and their guests up to the ballroom. So the ballroom would be set uh, accordingly for the wedding couple and their guests, so that they're, uh, for the speed of service throughout the night, that we'd be able to serve everybody, uh, usually around the same time. So for our starters, our soup, our main course and our desserts, that we have impeccable timing on it to make sure that the wedding guests uh, have the best night they possibly can. So it's important for us as a team at the Hardy Man that we train our staff uh, accordingly for any weddings that we have here. So uh, usually I'd have a very strong team behind me. So whether it be from uh, obviously Valerie that I work with directly as a wedding coordinator to the team actually on the day, our service staff, our bar staff and obviously our kitchen staff. And of course you're well known as well for your locally produced products and supporting local businesses with the food that you use and that your head chefs do use all the time here at the Hardiman as well. So the kitchen staff that we have here, our chefs, are absolutely fantastic. The food and the quality that's uh, sourced locally is absolutely brilliant. We're renowned for our beef and we're also renowned for our five-star service that we offer here in this fantastic, elegant ballroom.
And now we're going to meet with a couple, Louise and James Ruffing, who had their wedding here last December, and to find out a little bit about their journey when they decided to have their wedding here at the Hardiman. Louise and James, you're very welcome to come back to the hotel today and to chat with me. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. <laughs> that's, that's what's even extra special. That was the first thing you said when you actually came in the door to me today as well. Your experience and your journey of booking the Hardiman Hotel, what was that like? Well, first of all, it was very easy. Um, we're both Galway, so we wanted yeah. somewhere that you can't get more Galway than Air Square, I suppose. So we had viewed a couple of hotels, but as soon as I seen the room in the Hardiman, I was just like, it's beautiful. So as, as soon as I came in, um, Valerie, you mentioned, was just so easy, so straightforward, and she went through what the day would be like and showed us the viewing the hotel and just straight away we were gobsmacked. It was just so beautiful. So James, did the room sell to you as well? I think really the main thing for me was as long as Louise was happy. Um, <laughs> really when we came here, as she said, the first thing that really sold, like the decision was made when we walked in the doors here, the function room, you know, it was the mirrors and it was the chandeliers and the, the table and we loved the idea of the bar and the upstairs. So as I said, once she was wanted the the hardy man that was what we were going to do we were going to do whatever we could and luckily you know it was she 100 she made the right decision and you know it was it was a joy to have our wedding here um, so you're telling me so you do it all over again is that what you're saying 100 yeah. percent. yeah we had such a fantastic day and it's a very very special day but the fact that you loved your whole from beginning to end is what makes it extra special yeah exactly it was we just we were able to just thoroughly enjoy the day we didn't have to worry about anything yeah. they were just catering to every need that we needed and they were just so on the ball it was just so straightforward and we just had a fantastic time and how do you feel about being back here today oh, brought back all the excitement it is again. brought back a lot of good memories <laughs> yeah. uh, of the day um we, were, we often say it like even uh, you know, the whole day itself as she said it ran so smoothly um one of the main things that we loved was we took a car a vintage car from the church we got to drive it through you know shop street up towards eggton street and the fact that everyone, yeah, the fact that we were in the middle and, and there was Christmas shopping going on at the time, and the crowds around, yeah, and the markets were there, and everything really that was just available to us on the day, we kind of tried to do. Um, we had a drink up in O'Connell's as well for our photos, which was which was lovely, um, and then we got to come back here, Britain, just in time yeah. for the food and such an ideal location yeah. to be able to do all those things and get to because we're both Galway people, so we got to drive through Galway and come back right into. Air Square, so it's fantastic. Yeah. So true Galwegians yeah. in one of Galway's most iconic <laughs> exactly. hotels, the Hardiman. What exactly. other better way can you celebrate your wedding? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was perfect. Louise and James, thank you both for taking the time to come and meet with me this so, afternoon. Thank you very much thank for having you. us. And wishing you both every happiness in your new married life together. Yeah. Thank you. It was lovely to catch up with Louise and James and find out about all of their wedding experience here at the Hardiman. I'm now going to pop back downstairs to the Oyster Bar to try my little cocktail that was being made for me there and to meet with GM and catch up about all the day-to-day -day running here at the Hardiman. Cheers and thank you, Paula. And now we're going to meet with the general manager of the Hardiman, Patrick Murphy. Hello, Patrick. How are, how are you? you? Thank you. Me, please. Thank you. How are you today? I'm very well, and you? I'm great, thanks. So, Patrick, many congratulations on your newly renovated and, of course, rebranding of the Hardiman. Mm. How are you feeling at the moment? Great. Uh, we're very pleased with the outcome. I mean, there's been seven million spent on it to date with, you know, another three million in the pipeline. Um, we're going to add another 19 rooms in the very near future. Um, I mean, the building's been here since 1852, so believe it or not, seven million would disappear very, very quickly in it. But 
Um, we're really pleased. We've rebranded as the Hardyman. Um, and again, I suppose when we decided on that, it was about you know trying to reflect something that was of Galway and of its people and culture. Um, and we did a bit of research on it, and you know we did a lot of thought. There was a lot of focus groups, for want of a better um, expression. And I suppose we came back with with, with James Hardyman, who was the first librarian in what was this, I suppose what is the university. Um, and albeit he was born in Mayo. Uh, he's very much we think of him as a Galway man so we thought yeah this is very very appropriate because again this this particular building has huge resonance and the people of Galway have great affinity for it I mean so many people have come through its doors whether it be working or they got married or they met their wife um, uh, or husband um, so it's got a very very personal connection with the people of Galway so again when we, we went out there with 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 the objective of of, of a rebrand and a name um, it was all of that was in play and I think we've hit it on the money in the sense James Hardiman is very much of Galway and the feedback we've gotten to date from the people is just, just phenomenal, they're really pleased with it. So the ballroom you were in a little earlier um, is something that I worked on uh, as a very young young student in hotels. Um, so it's a great, for me, there's, a, there's, a, there's an amazing circle here in the sense of I, I, I suppose I had wanted to be the GM of here uh, as a graduate. And, and here I am. So there's not many GMs that have gone through the business. So I'm I'm one of the fortunate. And, and again, where better in Galway than the Hardiman than this particular hotel, which is amazing history, as whether it be the Great Southern or the Merrick, um, or the Railway Hotel going way back. So so where better than this particular hotel? It's so exciting to see the hotel as it's been refurbished because it's never lost. What I love about it, it there's, it's contemporary, but yet you've kept that homely feel to it. I think that was so important when you did do your refurbishment. Yeah, again, I suppose, look, at because of the, the very nature of the building, it's a protected structure, at least the main house, which we're sitting in right now is. So again, I think, you know, Grania Weber, who is the interior architect on this, was very, very respectful of that tradition and history. And again, the owners, um, you know, we're, we're very keen to ensure that again, that, you know, it, it resonated with Galway and its people. So that was the brief for Grania in particular. Um, and again, she's achieved it really, really well. Obviously, there's the input of, of, of the owners and um, the hotel team itself. You know, I think of some of my my colleagues like Mary Donnelly, who's here 20, 22 years, Margaret Glynn. Uh, Margaret is here 40 years. Um, so again, you know, those those, those conversations, that their input was, was invaluable as well. Um, and indeed the general public coming in, because again, the Galway people are not shy about coming forward. Um, and, and again, they listened and, and I think, you know, again, as I said to you, look, the feedback on it is phenomenal. It's fresh, it is contemporary, but you still recognize the old, you still recognize the history. And um, the systems are updated, you know, so for example, we've, we've spent a hundred thousand euros between a new phone system, TV system, Wi-Fi, our Wi-Fi is second to none. Um, and these are the modern, I suppose, facility services that the general public now expect. I mean, the Silver Surfers now are as up to speed on, on, on the Wi-Fi, on, on broadband speed, on, on everything digital. So again, yeah, it's, it's, it's an old structure, but it's very, very modern now in terms of its, its take. But, but still with an eye to the past, because again, it's important. And that's because, as you said, it's one thing that Galway people all associate with here with the Hardiman. Of course, it's the heart of Galway City, situated in Air Square, and there's huge history to this hotel. And that's the one thing I loved, even the likes of your huge fireplace outside, there's great history to that, and you restore that to its original, with its original features as well. And I think that's so important. You got the absolutely bang on. Of course, you have an amazing team here, mm. Patrick, because you've just mentioned some of your team here, some are here almost 40 years. I mean, that's incredible for you to have a core of people that far back, along with obviously of your newer people that come We do, well. yeah, look, we, we have, I mean, uh, in principle, we have approximately 120 people here on the payroll. Um, that fluctuates season, with seasonality a little bit. Um, but Margaret Glenn, who I refer to, is 40 years here. Mary Donnelly, 22. I think of Ola, a restaurant manager, she's 12, 13. Stephen, who you have also met earlier today, he's he's nine years with us. Um, so again, look, that, that I suppose just, um, I suppose it reflects that this is a great property to work in. Um, and there's a pride in it. Um, and these are real, true professionals that, you know, know what they're doing, they know their job, they know the customer coming in. I mean, Mary knows half of Galway. Um, and that's, that's invaluable. And that's, I suppose, what distinguishes you know certain properties from others and that you know you come in every person it really is yeah. and that's so so important and again look it's 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 warm it's personable um and again i suppose there is a culture or there is there's a feeling around here and um you know it's always been there to be fair and and we need to maintain and make sure that their guest coming experiences that in each and every time we're very direct we're very honest with the customer um and we talk to them. you know it's personal it's not they're not numbers they're 
And that is yeah. one thing I know you deliver any time I ever visit the Hardman. From the minute you come in the door, everyone's smiling, everyone's saying hello, and it's no matter who you are or what you are, everyone's welcome. And that's what's very important, I think, for the hospitality that you do give. We try, Mandy. I mean, look, I want you know the team, myself included, in that we come in every day, we want to be here, that we're happy. And I think that reflects in, in the service and in the experience for, for, for everyone coming through. So um, we try. We try. Well, you are succeeding, and Patrick Murphy, all I can say to you is, is continued success to you. Congratulations on your newly refurbished, absolutely beautiful hotel, and continued success to you and your team here at the Hardman. Thank you very much, Mandy. Lovely Thank talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. So that was the general manager, Patrick Murphy, chatting to us about the day-to-day -day running here of the Hardman. Of course, the Hardman are great for supporting local wedding vendors as well. So I'm now going to pop back upstairs where I'm actually going to be chatting with a couple of key wedding suppliers here in Galway and to find out a little bit more about their businesses. I'm delighted to introduce to you some of Galway's leading wedding vendors and I'm joined now with Michelle Burke from Vintage Pearl Bridal. Michelle, you're very welcome to the Hardyman and thank you for taking the time to come thank and meet us. Thank you for today. having me, it's lovely to be here in this gorgeous setting. Thank you. So Michelle, the bride and the dress, what tips can you give any bride when they're choosing that special dress? Yes, so um, choosing a special dress, it's such an amazing journey. Um, what I would say for brides starting out, if they're at the very, very start of their journey, um, do a little bit of research and start, you know, um, brides are always looking at dresses online and they're, they're, they're seeing which dresses um, they love and they're pinning them and it's so, so beautiful. Um, so what I would say is to start uh, looking, do your research online and, and, and have a look at if you have a particular bridal store in mind, go to their website and see what's, what lines, what designers they carry, what dresses they carry um, and start your start your journey from there. Get, get in touch with that bridal boutique and let them um, start your journey with you. And from there, if this is your first time trying on wedding dresses, let the bridal boutique know um, I would recommend trying on a variety of different styles. So, you know, um, if, if you've never tried on wedding dresses before, try on, um, you know, you might want to try on the beautiful A-line, some beautiful fitted styles, V-necks, high necks, little sleeve, um, a long sleeve. Try a variety of styles to find what it is that you are looking for. Um, because it's not something that we've ever done before. We've never tried on wedding dresses before. So it's an entirely new experience. Um, we, we often go out with something in our mind of what we think that we would like. And often that's completely completely um, different to something that we go for. We end up picking something totally different and it completely surprises us. Um, so for the bride, I would say, who's just starting out, is to, to try a little bit of everything and um, yeah. So tell me, Michelle, so Vintage Pearl Bridal, what's coming on trend for 2021? So for 2021, we are seeing um, comfort is actually key, Mandy, for 2021. Brides are really, you know, they're still looking for that absolutely beautiful um, knockout dress, but they really want that element of comfort as well. So we're seeing lots of amazing fabrics, beautiful soft fabrics, lighter dresses, um, lots of simple lines. Um, we see lots of crepes this year, um, but with lovely, beautiful details. So they may have something a little bit different to the neckline, so they may add a little bit of lace to the front or could be um, you know quite a statement back and we're seeing lots of beautiful long sleeves so I think beautiful long sleeves gorgeous floaty tall skirts beautiful chiffons um, and yeah really comfort is key I suppose we might see a little bit more of micro weddings this year as well and brides really want that um, I suppose to reflect in their dress as well um, brides are always looking to be that little bit unique as well so they're always looking for that something a little bit different and um, yeah, we're seeing lots and lots of just beautiful details, so textures, so mix of textures, um, knockout designs, as well as just beautiful, luxurious fabrics that sit beautifully against the skin and the body um, and just make you feel amazing but you were also very very comfortable and um, so brides are really loving that at the moment and, and looking for that more and more we're finding oh michelle if only i could do it all over again i would probably drive you crazy though <laughs> 
Um, so we're seeing lots of stunning dresses coming out for 2021. Our dresses have started to arrive already, Exciting. which is amazing. Great, yeah, um, I, this is going to be, I, I, I dare say, maybe one of my most exciting years. I'm so excited for the collections coming this year. Um, they should all be in store by the end of September 2021. So we have um, hopefully uh, a positive at the end of all this and we have an amazing year ahead. So we're really excited to show brides um, our collections for the year ahead. I wish you continued success, Michelle. Thanks and thank so you again, Vintage Power Bride. I can't wait to have a look at your new collection. Oh, thanks so much, thank Andy. You. Thanks for having me on as well. Thank you. Ashleen K Makeup, thank you for joining me today here in the Hardiman. Ashleen, for any bride that's looking for the makeup artist, what tip would you give that girl for her special day? Um, I think the best thing to do is to go with a recommendation because you want somebody who you're going to be comfortable with, who someone has experience of, because you're, you're going to be intimately involved with this person for the whole morning of your wedding so it's really important that you get on with this person and that they click with your group of people and that you feel comfortable inviting them into your really special occasion as well so that's really important and obviously you'll have had your trial done so you know what the makeup is going to look like so that's kind of besides the point but um yeah a recommendation is really important i would always go with that and obviously look at the person's style of makeup because you, i wouldn't just book a makeup artist for the sake of a makeup artist you need to kind of know their style and if it suits your style as well um because everybody wears their makeup differently and everyone has different co comfort levels of makeup so you want someone who has plenty of experience who's able to perform or give you the look that you're looking for on the day of your wedding and you need to be clear about what kind of a look that you're looking for as well so photographs are great for a pre photographs before yeah, the day itself yeah. so Ashley, i know you do a lot of weddings here at the hardiman do you offer a service where you can actually come in the morning because some brides actually end up staying the night before actually yeah. at the hotel so do you actually offer that service where you can come and look after the bride here on the doorstep of the hotel as such yeah. and it does take a lot of pressure off the bride as well because they're here at the hotel and they're settled and there's they're not kind of worried about the house and you know how the house looks but yeah you come to the hotel on the morning of the wedding and um, so you, you they could offer you a meeting room or something like that where you could do it separately or I'd probably go to the bedroom as well sometimes um, and then people would come and go and you'd probably have little appointments for, for everybody to arrive to the place that you're doing the makeup and it usually runs quite smoothly but then everyone's really relaxed and you just go straight to the room and they go home and get dressed or go back and get dressed and everything. Ashley, what looks are brides looking for? For in regard to their makeup is there a specific look that they want for their special day i find that most people want to look like themselves and that's really important for them to look like themselves and feel like themselves because you don't want to look in the mirror after getting your makeup done and go oh who's that you know you want to feel like the best version of yourself so it's really important to, at, to have your trial, first of all, but at the trial to, I always get my brides to come with their best makeup on or their makeup that they wear going out. So I kind of have an idea of their comfort level of how much product they like to, to wear. Um, and also you need to think of the groom as well. You know, sometimes the grooms are, they don't want them to wear too much makeup or look completely different to the person that they, you know, that they're used to seeing. So that's really important. So having an idea of what you what you like and maybe some photos as well but mostly they do want to look like a better version of themselves and it's really important that the makeup artist has experience to give you that look um, and to give you the look that you that you are going to be comfortable with well, there's no doubt you have plenty of experience because not only are you years in the business, but you've also worked London Fashion Week as well, which is an incredible accolade yeah. to you, Ashley. So well done on that as well. Ashley K Makeup, thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Maria Hanley from, of course, the iconic Hartmans of Galway Jewellers. Delighted to have you here today in the Hardiman. So thank you for coming to meet with me today, Maria. 
Thank you for having me, Mandy, and thank you for sharing this experience in the beautiful Hartland Hotel. It's beautifully refurbished. Absolutely, and I believe you did a little bit of refurbishing yourselves in we your did. store. We did indeed. Um, we've got a new consultation room, so um, a lot of our clients can now book online, and they have that room is dedicated to them, and the time is also dedicated to them, so they can sit back, relax in the luxurious surroundings, have a glass of bubbly, and begin their journey of choosing their engagement train. How exciting, Maria. God bless us the day when I was getting it. I managed to shove down the finger and that was it. But anyway, I know you're definitely going to cut that one out. <laughs> Maria, what is the process of choosing an engagement ring? Um, most couples that come into us now will ha maybe have an idea of what they want to try on but I always feel it's a good idea to come in with an open mind and just try everything on. I always feel at the end of the day that the right ring on our client um, is a wonderful represent representation of the store and that they're going to walk away being ambassadors for Hartman's. So um, I think the whole process is come in together, relax, try on the rings, um, learn about the four C's, just extremely important, and find a style that suits them and enjoy the journey. Because it's such a big day, isn't it? A huge day to pick out your engagement ring. And Maria, when we were chatting, you were saying a lot of men are actually now popping into the store. With, like a, a lot in the recent times, yes. couples were kind of going together to choose yes. their ring. But now you were saying that men are actually now going back to the old fashioned ways of where they're actually choosing the ring further. They are. They're actually making the appointments themselves with Hartman's by appointment and they're coming in and they may have sneakily had a little look at what she was looking at online and they will have an image on their phone and obviously we will try and fulfill their criteria but they're, they're like a lot of men are super clued in and they're making the whole experience they're actually booking weekends away boat trips carriage rides through New York and stuff like that they're like, like this generation of men are on the ball <laughs> and they're very brave but most of the time because he's taken all this effort to choose the perfect occasion ring for his fiance to be there is that emotional attachment from her and like 99% of the time it's never it's never changed she loves it and she's happy with it and it's a beautiful statement of their love and commitment to each other and of course with the personal service that you give yourselves with Harpens of Galway as well will equally just add to that as well we have fantastic. such an extensive extensive range of gorgeous diamond rings and I think for all of us we all feel very privileged and honoured to be part of that journey with a couple it is very personal and it is a huge decision so it's always an honour to be part of it and it's always we're always delighted when the choose happens of Galway with the changing times you know it's great to support local businesses and as well as that you're also available online now as well yeah, Mandy yeah 24 7 but that's for our general online shopping and then if you want to make the appointments for diamond engagement rings or wedding bands um, your Hartman's by appointment you can just make an appointment online with us and you'll have that time dedicated to you then by any one of our great team. That's brilliant. Maria Hanley, Hartman's of Galway, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you for having us Mandy, delighted to be here. Maguire, wedding vocalist and lead singer with the Cosmonauts Wedding Band. Delighted you've joined me here this afternoon here in the Heart of Nicholas. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So for a couple choosing their wedding band, what tips can you give them? For couples choosing their wedding band, I would say the most important thing is to actually see the band in person, if if possible, but certainly online, looking at a showcase or you know a live video. Um, some bands would stick to one genre or another. With the Cosmonauts, we like to visit different genres throughout the evening to make sure that the oldest to the youngest guest gets to be entertained. So we do everything from jives and waltzes right through to some Irish country. We do things like you know Dolly Parton's Nine to Five, you know middle of the road fun stuff that every age group enjoy and then we do more modern stuff like Bruno Mars, The Killers, The Kings of Leon, you know, so that every guest gets to have a good time and that the dance floor is full from the start to the end. Sounds like my ideal evening.
Nicola. <laughs> Nicola, typically how long does a wedding band play for? Well, for us in the, the Cosmonauts, we arrive to every venue at 8pm. Usually the couple or the wedding would be maybe speeches time, possibly during desserts. So they're nearly towards the end of the meal. As soon as the meal and speeches are finished, we have a, a 30 minute setup time. So we will load in our equipment and within those 30 minutes, we're ready to go with the first dance with the couple. We like to play for a good three hour period and we take a little break when the hotel are serving their, the refreshments, the tea and coffee, the sandwiches and sausages and that at, at, at the break time. But we like to get in a good three hour period with regards to live music and then we can also provide a full DJ service into the wee hours of the morning. I was just going to ask you that, that's a fantastic, so at least basically you're with them for the full night of entertainment. Absolutely. So Nicola, I, you're obviously well known for your um, singing in both churches or at civil ceremonies. You have the most amazing voice. Thank you. So if a couple are there and they're really wishing to choose their own songs, can you accommodate them on that? Certainly. With choosing music for either a church ceremony or a civil ceremony, obviously there are a lot of songs to choose from. So when a couple inquires with me, I send them on a list of my repertoire, which is huge I have so many songs and lots of different genres of music as well from you know ballads to more contemporary music to Irish ballads I sing some jazz music I sing gospel and obviously then the religious aspect for churches as well so I will provide them with a list but if there is a song that the couple would like that I don't know I'm very happy to learn something new because I appreciate how special it is for the couple. Nick and McGuire thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you Mandy. George Keneally, wedding photographer, delighted that you've joined me here this afternoon in the heart. And so thank you for taking the time to come and meet with me, George. That's all you're very welcome, Mandy. George, I'm a big fan of your Instagram page and I've been following you for a long time. But the one thing I have to ask you is couples, how are you getting them so relaxed and so chilled and looking so as if they really belong in the front of the camera on the day of their wedding? Because you really have that little extra touch that I've noticed. What's the tip on that? Well, yeah, thanks very much, Mandy. Um, I suppose I often say to my couples, if if it feels unnatural, it looks unnatural. And I think in years gone by, we had this idea of wedding photography being very static and have a couples out and about on a, on a scenic location for a shoot. And oftentimes we had this idea of couples posing and being very rigid. But I think in modern photography, it's all about movement and getting couples to move together, but do so in a very natural way. And I often ask my couples to do, to do something that they would do naturally themselves. So if they would naturally go for a walk and hold hand in hand and have a bit of fun, I think the images just come across that bit better. And I think also, I think the older generation of photographers used to have couples looking at the camera quite a lot. And I think um, just to get the couples to look at each other, have a bit of fun, have a bit of a giggle, I think it's really important. And if you can get the couple to relax and be themselves, it makes such a big difference in their final images. Well, I've no doubt you have that definitely well mastered. It's not a question from following much of the photography and photographs that said you put up on Instagram. George, can you give me three tips for couples on their wedding day? Sure, Mandy. I, I think probably the most important tip I can give couples is to not be so conscious of the weather. I think in Ireland you can't predict the weather too far in advance and some days can be quite wet, some days can be quite good. I think couples place too much emphasis on the two hours or so they have after the ceremony and they're hoping and praying for the weather to be really, really good, to get good images. But I often tell my couples that really we can take images throughout the day. So there's often other opportunities like after the meal, after the band, um, and really oftentimes we just want to take the couple away from their guests for a short amount of time. And I think sometimes taking images at night time is quite, quite interesting as well. So I often tell my couples, don't stress too much about the weather because the day is long and you have your photographer for most of the day. And uh, by working quickly with your photographer, getting what you need and getting the couple back to their gate, to their guests, uh, that's quite important and that seems to work best. And um, two other very, very quick tips I would say is the time you have your ceremony. Um, in winter time, be very conscious of when the daylight finishes, maybe 4 or 4.30. So I think winter ceremonies should be about 12 or 12.30. Um, in summertime, you don't have to worry about the weather so much in terms of daylight. So you can have your ceremony pretty much at any time. And lastly, I would say what's getting very, very popular, especially in 2019, 2020, is the idea of an unplugged ceremony. So it's a ceremony where the priest or celebrant may ask the guest not to use their phone or, or mobile devices to take any photographs throughout the ceremony. And it puts couples at ease because, number one, when a couple comes into the room, they don't have cameras you know, pointing in their direction. And number two, you, 
it's a less that there's a less likelihood for images to be put up on social media before the couple can get to see the images themselves. So, so I think those three tips are quite important. Um, overall, I think it's important that you engage with your photographers and you're on the same level, the same kind of personality match, so you can relax and enjoy yourself throughout the day. So, George, what comes to mind when you think of Hardiman weddings? Um, good question, Mandy. I would say what jumps out for me is the atmosphere. I think because the Hardiman is located so close to Air Square and it's in the heart of Galway, I think there's always a real buzz and atmosphere here with the Hardiman. I, I think of all the venues that I shoot in, this is one I look forward to shooting in the most. Um, would you believe that I tend to shoot here about one in every four weddings that I shoot is in this venue, so I become very, very um, familiar with the location. And would you believe some of my best images have been taken here outside in the rain? There's something about the location that we have in Galway City, in Air Square, and it's very, very good for couples because it's so central that you can pop out, walk down through Key Street, um, take some photographs in Air Square, pop out to Salt Hill, and there's just something about that it's hard to put a finger on. But uh, the images, I think, oftentimes. Uh, tell a story of the way people feel and, and, and experience their day here. George Keneally, wedding photographer, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Mandy. It's been a pleasure.